Alright, hey guys, it's me, Meter. Here we are back to Pet Pet Adventures, The Wand of Wishing. We're gonna be heading off to Shadow Moses Island, I mean Shadow Island. And heading off. Alright, so here we are at Shadow Island, and just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and equip my Mozito here. Maybe it does do something. I mean, I did use it up against the boss, who knows? Actually, I'll probably use the green moach. Anyway, let's see where we are. You're starting seeing these enemies here. And notice, you can do a lot of damage to them. And you also see these guys. They're pretty much just, uh... Whoa, alright. Yeah, they're actually more powerful versions of those enemies we actually found way back in, what, the catacombs, I believe it was? Either way... Yeah, it doesn't seem like that little jump tackle really does tall too much from what it looks like, but whatever. You'll see breakables here, you'll see messages in a bottle, so you'll see seashells. Hey, look, a grilled skin we could go ahead and grab over here oh that's where he just came from anyway let's go ahead and go around in a circle here break this down and the music here is pretty cool too yeah it really doesn't seem like that little jump attack really does anything if anything at all but if I, if I just unequip it and actually switch back to my little zitch i had there we go looks cool anyway looks better and here, you'll see pylons. Let's go ahead and kill up with these guys here. Yeah, it seems to be doing a lot better job. I give you the pylon? Yes. Let's see what this does. Huh. One of the six little statues lit up. But of course, we need additional pylons. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on forward. Seafarer's hot dog, alright, whatever, not really all too much there. You'll start seeing these. These are not rainbow pools, those are actually dark toxic. But interesting thing of note, if you actually get hit by these, and oh look, dark magic. Bless, it actually counteracts the actual dark spell you're under. So that's kind of cool. But you go over here, and you'll actually see a Mutix, a green Mutix. But first, let's take out these guys here. Yeah, it definitely seems like it does more without the agility boost. I don't know why, but whatever. Not really going to complain about it. Let's go ahead and see this little Mutix here. This is the original color of Mutix, but for some reason we got a yellow Mutix. Before we got another Mutix, but whatever. Let's go ahead and drop... Wait, that's in the wrong spot. Wait for it. Here we are, grilled skin. Let's drop that. It's going to be over here. Push that over there. Alright. It's going to come out. Is he? Okay, it's obviously uh, glitched where it can't move, so... Is it actually gonna... Can I even pick that up? No, because he's actually trying to go over towards it. There we go. Alright. At least he found his way properly. That's something. Come on. Hurry up. But yes, this is actually the last pet pet in the game. Last pet pet pet, rather. Let's go ahead and use this and see what it does. Let's unequip this. It actually gives you two defense and one health. So it's not bad. I personally think for defensive purposes, having more HP is better. So yellow visa is probably better for that. But I'm going to stick with the blue zitch because it gives me uh, SP. It gives me an SP increase and it also gives me plus two defense. Or plus two attack and plus one, um, whatever, intelligence. Anyways, bust through these enemies here with our golden croc sword because we're awesome. Break through this. Break through that. Small mana potion, whatever. Then we operate this pylon. What color is this going to be? Hmm. Looks to be orange. So yeah, I guess you could tell what kind of uh, light source it's going to be making. Spoiler alert, it makes a rainbow. Wow. Plot twist, right? Anyway. These guys, so awesome to take out with the sword. It's nice being able to take things out with the... Oh, what's this? Fancy fitted helmet. What's that for? Hmm. Damage three... Oh, that's the massive one. I already had that one before. Oh, well. Kind of shame. We can actually get some pretty good treasures from this area here. Some really nice weapons that are exclusive to this area here. In fact, I found a couple of them. And there are probably a lot more that I couldn't find as well. Like I said, due to the randomization, the way it works in this game, I can't see what all the exclusive items are because I can't play this more than once. Unless I want to play through the whole game again, and it'll randomize the treasures for the entire game for me again. 
I'm obviously not going to be doing that. But, whatever. Let's keep breaking through these as we can. Maybe we'll find something else that's actually worth keeping. Man, this Golden Croc Sword is just a beast. It will take things out, no problem. Nothing stands in our way, because we are awesome and beastly. These guys can be an interesting thing. Whoa. Oh, almost died there. All right, thank goodness I actually pressed pause real quick. Kind of got a little, kind of got a little cocky there. Not going to be doing that again. Well, maybe I could have taken him out without having to heal, but whatever. Too late now. Nothing in that. Let's activate this pylon. And what color is this going to be? Probably yellow. Yep, we're right. You know, when you put the orange and the yellow next to that, they don't really seem all too different. But, uh, hey, those colors, these colors are going to make look kind of similar to the next Let's Play I'm going to be doing. Anyway, let's go ahead and kill this guy, too. Break this. Yep, pretty much just slash through everything. That's pretty much this. It's nice feeling overpowered just being able to destroy things for once. Instead of having to just like stand back and having to use arrows like all the time. Now we could actually have something that like, melee is actually worth it for once. Am amazing. We haven't seen melee actually being worthwhile since we actually got the bow in the first place. But whatever. Break that. Oh, I missed one of you guys. That will not happen again. Break this. Grab that, and examine this pylon. Oh, I have a lot of NP, don't I? Wow, I didn't realize I had that much. I have the green, if you know what I mean. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah. Pylon is now active. Alright, so that means they're only a little bit further away for completing this entire area. I could probably do this entire island in one part, thanks to this sword, and the way I could just breeze through it. And the island's actually pretty small, considering. But, whatever. Kill you. Kill you. Oh, you have one of these. Oh, fine. You're gonna be that way. I'll have to take out my ice shards and kill you like that. Oh, well. Hey, you asked for it. Break that down. Zumagorn is apparently what they are called. Okay. Well, at least we have an official name for them that I didn't actually know beforehand. But there you go. I should probably... Uh, let's see. Bless. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I want to kill you now. And now you are dead. Now you can take two paths. You can go over here to... Oh, wait. Because let's actually activate this pylon first before you do anything else. I really do think that's kind of a neat effect they have going on there. Where they have seven, actually, it's, there's seven pylons, not six. I was wrong before. I guess it makes sense because Roy G. Biv, you know that whole thing. Wasn't there a time at one point where they tried to try to make indigo not an actual color of the rainbow and try to make it like six colors instead of seven? Whatever happened to that? That that, that clearly did actually go through very well. People were like, um, why are you trying to do this? But yeah, it's still called Roy G. Biv, and I, for as far as I, could, as I could tell, it's always going to be called Roy G. Biv in my book. Anyway, it's so nice being able to just melee these guys to death. Just something satisfying about it in the final area, just being able to lash through everything. It's kind of like in Super Metroid when you get the when you get to finally get the screw attack, and you can just breeze through everything, but just blasting everything to bits just by spinning, not even having to do any platforming or anything. Ah, uh, that satisfying moment near the end game. But yes, now we can do that with our Golden Croc story because that's how awesome we are being able to take through things because we're that beast and there's one last pylon there or I think there might be one more forward but either way let's activate this pylon and of course this one's going to be indigo and that just leaves one last color the pylon is now active let's go around here because there's actually a treasure chest over here. What's in this one? A shining sword and a platinum tech bow. 
Eh. Now the shiny sword's kind of interesting. I'll show that off too. But really, at this point in the game, it's pretty much completely useless. Being as, uh, well, the final bosses in the game actually have part light, part light alignment. So therefore, they have resistance to the same weapon you actually could deal. But, whatever. That's another story for another day. Actually, it's probably another story for another day, because I think we're we'll actually going to be heading towards the finale pretty shortly. Probably in like one or two episodes. Depending on how far I get through, quickly I get through this. Maybe the finale will just be the next episode. Who knows? We'll find out. It all depends how quickly I could get through this. Now, these guys also have light magic. But being as we have, you know, 65% light resistance, these guys do nothing to us. You can just breeze through them like nothing. Like a hot knife through butter or something like that. They're pretty much essentially using a pea shooter on us. And these guys here also shoot out water, which is also useless against you, because since we're the croc, well, we already have water resistance as well. So therefore, we could breeze through everything on this island, especially since we have our golden croc sword now. So yeah, we're just that overpowered. Let's activate this last pylon now. And it is purple. Or violet. Looks more like pink though. Either way, is there anything else that I did not see yet? Any enemies here that did not kill yet? Nope, that seems to be pretty much everyone. So that means the only place to go now is through here. Ooh. You're going to die. Just you're just making the inevitable like it's a slower and painfuler. More painfuler, yes, that's a word. I'm making up words now, kind of like Dr. Seuss, except horribly. And much worse, and that is, you know, useful. See, look at that magic he's able to do against me. A whole eight whopping damage. Woo, man. Better watch out for that. It's kind of scary. Oh, nine damage that time, man. And at this point in the game, you should at least shoot like three in a row or something instead of just like one little blast. It's like kind of pathetic at this point in the game. But whatever. Oh, man. I better. Man, I was almost worried that I'm actually dying. But I didn't because, well, I'm the croc and nothing can stop me because I'm beast. Enough said. Enough story. Period. Break that down over here. And of course, you can't go any further there. That's where that blocks you down. Maybe I should save just in case. Nah. I'm going all in. No saves. Saves are for the weak. Only the weak save. Watch now. As I said, I'm instantly going to die. Like on the next couple, in the next, in the last area, I'm finally going to die. Of course, I'm going to save before the boss because I'm not that much of an idiot. But anyway. Although, to be fair, I haven't been doing too bad against bosses recently. I've only died... Last time I actually died against a boss was, uh... The Bandit Lieutenant, I think. Unless, uh... There was another one I can't think of. Hmm. Maybe. But, I don't know. Either way, you'll see this little pylon here. And we can actually set the stone there. I'm not gonna do that yet! Because that'll activate a cutscene and we have to go into the next area. What you want to do is actually go over here. You'll follow this path here. And you'll get one last treasure chest. And one last rainbow pool. Let's open this up first and see what we get. A dark battle staff and a shining sword. Hmm. Eh, kind of uh, underwhelming. I, I didn't get a very good uh, loot payout here at all. See, so a shining sword here it gives you 20 light, which is nice because we're at a light alignment. However, it does about. So that'd be like 24 to 30 damage, which is actually more than this, but it also attacks the same way as a regular sword. So therefore, your croc sword is still immensely better. Also, the fact that the late, these next two bosses actually have somewhat light resistance makes it useless. And then there's the Dark Battle Staff, which attacks just as slowly as this and just actually has less power. And they also both have Dark Climate with them as well. So therefore, we got nothing worthy we could actually use here in our little trip here. But, whatever. We're not here for it. Let's go ahead and use this magic puddle here so we can finally see the last color we could get in the game. Which actually doesn't look half bad for being pink. Actually doesn't look too bad, honestly. Kinda like the color a little bit. And it's like a finale color too, like the end of the end. Getting ready for the final fights ahead. Let me go ahead and save and I will meet you back and we could put the little prism in the pedestal or something. Alright, so now we can continue on 
and put this little prismatic crystal inside the pedestal here and see what happens. Pretty awesome animation, actually. You know something's about to just happen. Something pretty awesome. So here we are in the Lake Guardian's lair. Of course, she's being captured just like all of them. Kind of interesting way of warping in. Hmm. I don't see any anyone villainous or anything. Except that. can't have it! The power's mine! I studied it, I learned it, I deserve it! I am so sorry. It was an accident, I think. Didn't mean to. Don't know where the darkness came from. I will be the new Light Guardian! I will spread my powers in the world! Ha ha ha! You will drown in darkness! Alright, so he starts off with the shield here, so it's probably good to take out your ice shards here and attack him that way. That's probably your only defense you can actually use against him with that shield in place. And he starts actually shooting out like little bombs at you too. And it's probably good to actually start using your Bless as well to counteract the dark magic he's going to be using on you. So as you can tell, he actually uses light magic and he also uses dark magic at the same time. So uh, it's hard to really judge what he's going to really use. And then he starts using this. He starts turning himself invisible, but he's invisible, he's not invulnerable. So that's the difference there. So you can just spam him with your sword, but be careful as well because, well, he does have a lot of damage that he could do to you as well. I don't get caught up in a spot. Please don't get caught up in a spot. Alright. Almost died there pretty badly. Almost. Alright, come on. Now it's time to fight you again, head on again. Alright. We have a lot of light resistance, so that doesn't really do all too much to us. He can send us away from him, but now he teleports. So it's kind of hard to see where he's going to be coming from. Hmm, where did he go? Ah, see, when he teleports, he also makes himself invisible, too. So it's kind of hard to see him, but you can still see that little outline of him, so it's not too bad. I want to try to avoid using the bow, because, well, I think the bow is ridiculously overpowered. And I don't think it's really that bad, but... A little bit more... Alright, thank you. Now that you broke your little invulnerability, he disappears again. Where'd he go? Hmm. Where did you go? There you are. You can't fool me. See, I wish the more of the bosses was, were actually like this. Actually, put it somewhat of a fight, and opposed to just like ending a matter of seconds. He actually, I actually used a few spells to actually counteract his magic. I like that. I wish more bosses actually did that. Anyway, let's talk to this guy, the Lake Guardian, or girl. Mm -hmm. I'm in your debt for freeing me. Please help yourself to these items. I've been saving them for a special occasion. A shining sword, oh boy, another one. And a defense sword. Quite useful. Mm -hmm. Understand that I hold no ill will against my captor. He came to me in earnest, wishing to learn. Mm -hmm. One day his equipment was misaligned and I became trapped in that sphere of darkness. I don't believe it was an accident. If all the other guardians had been trapped, then the Dark Guardian may be in similar danger. You must find her in... What's that shadow? You again? You again! As if disrupting my other plans wasn't enough!
Oh, it was all a disguise. Interesting. Yes, and it was I that stole the Fire Guardian Summon and placed on that idiot, the Sio Drake. It was I that helped the Nar corrupt the realm of Earth. It was I that gave the Moronic Dragon Oil the power to cage a Dry Guardian. It was I that inspired that stupid Triffin to trap the Water Guardian. And it was I that made this naive Hoot accidentally tap into the Light Guardian's power, which then drove him insane. And now you come and ruin my best laid plans. Meddler. Well, I'm not giving up. I will be the only guardian. I'll join forces of the filthy Wurhaunt. Ha! That should put a quite a dent in your little plan. Come. I dare you to try to stop me now, hero. So, you're gonna team up with the person you teamed up before and betrayed. I'm sure it'll look over real well. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. If she succeeds in joining forces with the new wand bearer, I shudder to think about what could happen. We must hurry. I will take us to the founder. Alright, so here we are back in the western desert. If you didn't actually finish up the quest here last time, you can finish them up now. Although, if you don't have the items, you never got the items in the areas you need to actually grab them in, well, you can't really do all too much. So your only options here are to go past in here, to enter the final boss, or to head back to Miyameka and prepare yourself if you aren't already prepared enough. Before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and use that defense orb. Can you go over here in my inventory and just use that? I don't think I need to go back to town for anything. But let's talk to this guy here, Omar. Once again, the spirit of the desert has seen fit to bring us together. The founder was clean clearing a new way into his temple, but agents of the Warhound have seized him. I haven't the magic or you to rescue him, but in you he placed special faith. The founder must be saved. He is the center, the very soul of our world. You are his only hope. The blessings of the desert be upon you. Alright. So next time in Pet Pet Adventures, The Wand of Wishing, we'll be finishing up, fighting the Warhan, getting the wand back, and finish, finishing things once and for all. I will see you guys then.